Sixth grade, module one, lesson 20, problem set. The table below shows the amount of money Gabe earns working at a coffee shop. So for three hours, he earns $40.50, six hours, $81, nine hours, $121.50, 12 hours, $162. How much does Gabe earn per hour? So we can take any one of these um, sets of numbers and divide them. So I'm just going to do three hours and $40.50. Remember to bring your decimal point straight up and then three goes into four one time. Bring down the zero. Three goes into ten three times. Three times three is nine. Bring down the five. Three goes into 15 five times. Five times three is 15. Bring down the zero and three goes into zero, zero times. So he makes $13.50 per hour. Number two, Jordan is another employee at the same coffee shop. He has worked there longer than Gabe and earns $3 more per hour than Gabe. Complete the table to show how much Jordan earns. So he makes $3 an hour more per hour than Gabe. So if we do $13.50 plus 3, he's making $16.50 an hour. And we want to know after 4, 8, 12, and 16 hours how much he would have made. So let's do $16.50 times four. So four times zero is zero. Four times five is 20. Carry my two. Four times six is 24 plus two is 26. Four times one is four plus two is six. Now I have two digits behind my decimal point in the problem, so I'm going to move it over two places here, and he would make $66 after four hours. Now, after eight hours, so you can either do 1650 times eight, or I noticed that eight hours is double four hours. So I'm just gonna add 66 plus 66. I'm just gonna double it. And I'll get six plus six is 12. Carry the one, six plus six is 12, plus one is 13, so $132. Now if I add another four hours to get to 12, I'm just gonna add another $66. So 198 dollars, and then adding another four hours to get to 16. Eight plus six is 14, carry the one. One plus nine is 10, plus six is 16, carry the one, and one plus one is two. So 264 dollars. Now, you could have just multiplied by 1650 for all of these hours, but that was kind of a quicker way to get to our answer. Number three, Serena is the manager of the coffee shop. The amount of money she earns is represented by the equation M equals 21H, where H is the number of hours Serena works and M is the amount of money she earns. How much more money does Serena earn make an hour than Gabe? Explain your thinking. So she makes... 21H. So if we multiply the money, the amount of money, if we multiply 21, let's say per hour, so we want to know times one hour, that means that she's making $21 per hour. She's making $21 per hour, and we want to know how much more money does she make than Gabe. So Gabe was making thirteen fifty per hour, so let's just subtract those. Twenty one dollars minus thirteen fifty. We need to borrow. So she is making seven fifty more per hour. Then Gabe, and you can just kind of explain what we did there and explain our thinking and how we got to those two answers. Number four, last month, Jordan received a promotion and became a manager. He now earns the same amount as Serena. 
how much more money does he earn per hour now than he is now that he is a manager than he did after before his promotion explain your thinking so he's now making the same amount as serena so now he's making 21 dollars per hour and before jordan was making let's see 16.50 per hour So we want to know how much he's making more now. So let's subtract. So he's making $4.50 more per hour. And you can show your work, explain your thinking. That is all.